But uh, the challenge this morning is finding not only the survivors out there, but the Coast Guard has to find two survivors who are young, very young, just three and four years old. The Coast Guard Cutter Weber deployed from Miami Beach this morning is positioned in the Atlantic off the Bahamas. Coast Guard search teams now joined by the Air Force, with all eyes focused on an area about 15 miles off the coast of the island of Eleuthera. That's where the Coast Guard spotted a debris field floating on the surface of the water. The report that we have was that they did find components uh, of what appears to be components of an aircraft. Overnight, mechanics who previously worked on the missing plane confirmed the debris is a match. Missing 52-year-old Nathan Ulrich, who was piloting the plane, his friend 40-year-old Jennifer Blumen, and her two small children, only three and four years old. Blumen and her family featured on the show Open House NYC in 2015. The last time anyone saw them, all four had climbed into this private plane. Ulrich, a one-time member of the Coast Guard Auxiliary at the controls. According to flight records, their plane left Puerto Rico at 11.08 a.m. Monday. Destination, Titusville, Florida. But two hours, 22 minutes into the flight, at an altitude of 24,000 feet, the plane disappeared from radar. The search falls in the area of the fabled Bermuda Triangle, made famous in 1945 when five Navy planes on a routine training mission disappeared. It was long believed navigational instruments would not engage properly in the Bermuda Triangle, leading to crashes and sinkings. The search area falls inside what's known as the Bermuda Triangle. Is that an issue? The Coast Guard doesn't uh, take in folklore or, or myth into consideration when we're conducting our search and rescue missions. We're focused on, on the mission at hand, which is doing everything we can uh, to find or locate these four individuals. The Coast Guard says this morning this is still a search and rescue mission. There are some favorable conditions for surviving at sea. Temperatures of the waters in the low 80s and the sea state is relatively calm. Devastated family members hoping against hope that there may be survivors clinging to a piece of debris or maybe even washing up on shore of one of those Bahamian islands there. Back to you. All right, Carrie. Carrie, thank you so much. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.